if you get down, like, it's, it's crazy, but if like, you get down there, you can see them all. Like, you gotta be the green Yeah, you plant. gotta be the bean. <laughs> So you remember that jar of a mix of garden vegetables that I made a while back? Well, we opened one of them. Actually, we got like one full jar and then we got about three-fourths of another jar. Well, we opened the one that was three-fourths full and tried it. And oh my gosh, they were so good. And we were all just standing around munching on them. We almost ate the whole entire jar. And so uh, we decided to come out here and pick beans. Number one, because they need to be picked. And number two, because Dylan decided that he would like to ferment a whole jar of nothing but green beans. Because the green beans were the best thing in the jar. Holy smokes. Whoa. That's the biggest one I've seen. This right here is the row that I haven't picked yet because I didn't really think there was anything on them. But now that we're looking, we're actually finding some. They're kind of strange because they've all just bloomed at different times. And so some plants don't have anything on them and other plants are full of beans. Oh, Brooke's not here to join us. She's just cleaning the rabbit. We saw you come out here and look at your rabbits, and then we saw you slowly creep back inside, like you're trying to avoid being seen. We saw yeah, you. Yeah, just getting out of picking beans. Yeah, well, um, um, I was feeding my rabbits, and I don't have any food in the rabbit cage, so I went back in to grab Theodore's food. And when I grabbed Theodore's food, I saw his litter box, and I'm like, oh, I might as well do his litter box. Oh, I'm giving you a hard time. I just gotta do my chores first. Join us, huh? Yes. Dude, right. this is a blast for ripping the whole plant up. On yeah. just this row, not that one. Okay. This is the way to pick beans. It is. I'm telling you. Why are we um, just pulling the beans in this row? Because I've already picked a huge crop of beans off of these, and if they're blooming, this is not, not going to be enough time really for them. Growing, and I got that. Those over there. We wouldn't have some way over there too. Yeah. Though. So those way over there need to be picked, and they had some good ones on them the other day. And I'm looking forward to getting over there too. Holy smokes! Look at that. That's a good one. Mom was like grabbing the plants and, and looking at them, and like uh, the angle I was, I seen like two, three beans. Oh. That's how it goes though, because the other day Grandma was over there picking her beans and I was standing out visiting with her, and she'd like pull her beans over and pick, and then she'd come back, there'd be like three or four just right in plain sight for me that I could see. It's like, there's a bean there and there and there. <laughs> well, that's just how bean picking goes. Yeah. Like, you don't, you don't see the beans that you're. Oh, look see, at all look these at that, right there. Mom. I'm look probably missing that. them, huh? <laughs> if you get down, like, it's it's crazy. But if like, you get down there, you can see them all. Like, you gotta be the green. Yeah, you plant. gotta be the bean. <laughs> you gotta imagine where you would be if you were. Oh a my bean. God! There's a big old hairy, scary code black. Oh yeah. Ew, it's a cook black. <laughs> he is hairy, scary, and black. I'm getting up. 
Well, it's just Mom, one of those Dylan, creepy jumping well, ones. Well, Dylan carried. Dylan killed it, though, right? No, I did not. Oh. It's still in there. Mom, Mom had her knee on a green bean. That's just how. <laughs> <laughs> So we got all of the beans washed and the top snapped off of them and we are putting them in the jars and I'm actually teaching Dylan how to make fermented beans. Dylan's picking through and getting all the long big ones. He's actually going to take a jar of these home with him. In your jar, all pretty, aren't you? Trying to. Oh, I like that bean. Oh, I know. I should put that on like the. Yeah, let me see that bean. <laughs> That's perfect. Perfect bean. I know. There. Imagine that fermented and you can just <laughs> munch it. It'd be good, won't it? Okay, so now we got the garlic added to the jars and he's adding a little, a few sprigs of dill. And you know what we forgot to do is put the tea bags in there before we fill them full of beans. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple tea a uh, teaspoon or so of dill seed to each jar. Uh, One teaspoon? Yeah, or maybe like a teaspoon and a half or something. seeds if you plant them then the dill would grow. It would? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? I'm digging gauges. <laughs> Got a mustache. Okay, then you want to get tea bags. Just for a little added flavor we're going to add a little bit of red pepper flakes. about like half a teaspoon or a little less. Okay, so now he's making his brine. And it doesn't really matter your recipe as far as what all you add to the jars, seasoning wise or vegetable wise, as long as your brine is, um, you got the right proportion of salt in it and it's one tablespoon of salt per two cups of water. And also, as I've mentioned before, you don't want to use iodized salt. So we use sea salt. Right now I'm using pink Himalayan, but you can use any type of sea salt. Or pickling salt works good too. Oh boy, it's going to take a lot. Okay, so now we got the bags on top and we're just filling them full of brine to make like our airlock. So to make our airlock. What do you want to call it? I have no idea what you're Airtight seal. Yeah, airtight seal or airlock seal. That's it. So that's how you make fermented green beans. Wait about one to two weeks, probably, right? Mm hmm. It's done. Actually, when you see the. At least personally for me, the good in indicator is when you see the brine turned really cloudy, then you know that it's pretty much fermented. Similar to this. Right. Now see, I'm going to show you right here. This one is pretty cloudy, I don't know if you can see that, but you can still see the vegetables pretty good. 
Now this one right here is the one that we opened today and ate most of the veggies out of and you can see that one is really really cloudy. This one fermented faster I think because there weren't as many veggies in it as the other one. Good. That's delicious. It's nice and crisp. I love the green beans. This is the first time we've ever fermented green beans, and they are better than the pickles. Definitely. Pickles are great, but the green beans are just the best. Everything in that whole entire mixture is good. The only thing we don't like is the tomatoes. They kind of came out rotten tasting. The red ones. Yeah, the red ones. Did the green ones? I haven't even eaten a green one yet. Green ones aren't... They're rotten tasting too, but they're not bad. The green bell pepper was amazing too. Just everything is amazing when you ferment it. I'll take whatever you can dig out of there. Now the squash, the yellow squash, it was really good, but it took on the garlic. Had a really strong garlic flavor. And then it was also the seed part of it was kind of slimy just a little bit. But other than that, it was pretty good too. I will get you something else, but here's the tomatoes to taste. Oh, okay. Thank you. Phoebe, did you want a tomato? Green tomato? Taste it. They, oh, that yeah, that one was better. It, they do have like a little bit of a like the bitter skin taste. Is bitter or something. Yeah. yeah. Garbage can't taste. <laughs> Garbage can't taste. <laughs> Thank you. You worked so hard to get them. I thought you were gonna eat it. Hmm. Maybe one These are just the best. In fact. These are better than canned green beans. So if you haven't fermented yet, I, we highly recommend that you try it because not only are the vegetables delicious, but they are super healthy too.